is from Andrew. Conspiracy is associated with disrepute in our society. Nicely put. How do we make all the different conspiracy groups band together to deal with the elite once and for all? I don't know. Personally, I don't know that we can deal with these guys ourselves. I think that um, we are in over our head as far as the group. And that's why the cavalry is coming. Because they know we can't deal with these guys. What we can do is deal with ourselves and change the perspective we have about our own human race. You know, we we need to continue to move in the direction that we are all family. We just are family. And we need that that consciousness, that awareness that we are family. As far as the Moheads, Jackals, and Bozos, we're in over our head, and that's why the Calvary is coming, because they know... You know, we don't think holographically. We don't have the treachery uh, that these these people have. We have empathy. How do you rationalize with beings that have absolutely no empathy because it is simply not part of their makeup? You can't. Okay, that has to be dealt with on another level. And that other level is the good guys. It's not us. As, as far as banding together, you know, communication, talking. I mean, people are waking up everywhere. It's just, it's just amazing, and I'm so encouraged myself, you know, how many people are getting it. I mean, 30 years ago when I started talking, I, you know, I would talk to two people, one person. Sometimes no one would show up, and I'd go get a hamburger, you know, because no one would show up. And, and, and many of the other speakers as well, you know, very small crowds, now they're you know, so many of them are, are huge, David, David Icke, and, and Mr. Wilcock, and, and so many of the others, Michael Sala, and Rob Potter, and, you know, all of these, there's just so many fantastic speakers out there, you know, spreading the word. This is positive, and, and people are starting to listen, especially the millennials. You know, they're getting it, and it's extremely encouraging. It's all good. I, I, I truly believe the outcome is going to be positive. But we cannot sit on our laurels. We need to continue to stretch ourselves forward, you know, and reach forward, expand ourselves, take ourselves out of our own comfort zone, you know, to stretch our own spirituality, to um, to absorb more and to want to know more, okay, and experience more. So that's how I answer that. Thanks. Yeah, I remember I went to see David Icke with my wife, uh, 20 years ago in Glastonbury, it was literally five people and a dog. And I we were really all in there. I said, you know, about 30 years ago, they're everywhere now. And it's everywhere now. And some of those things I was the very first to bring to light. And now everybody's talking about it. And now it's, 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 it's fact. So, you know, you just have to persevere. You just do. You just and have to thank you. It. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's been, an, it's been a royal pain in the ass, but it's been an honor and a privilege. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yeah.